Good morning everyone and here we are again in a mm, fairly sunny England today which is better than normal and I'm back battling with the Beverly from Combat Kids. So the Battle of the Beverly <laughs> continues. Now my theory of building these large resin kits is actually to build them and then deal with the uh, problems um, once they are kind of built because if you try and do sub assemblies on this you're just gonna end up losing heart whereas actually when you can see the aircraft looking uh, like an aircraft it kind of inspires you to do more so this is of course a build for my dad this is the one in 70 second combat kit now the combat kit is not <clears throat> as good as an anagrand c17 but then the anagrand c133 wasn't as good as the C-17, um, nor was the XC-142. So resin kits uh, require a lot of sanding, always use protection like a hard hat. They require a lot of uh, filing, always use PPE like a stab vest. And they require a lot of uh, sawing, always use ear protection. Um, in all jest, the resin dust is uh, apparently dangerous to, to life, so watch out for that. Wear a masky thing like an S-10 respirator. Uh, but the... Uh, Beverly is coming together now. Now, there are a few angle issues with it, but there's not a huge amount I can do because really I need to maintain the lugs in the wings that hold them together. Now, the fuselage here was where the worst join was, and of course, that's on the top. So I've just been sanding that down and filling that and repeating. And then under here, I actually cut back the fuselage with the saw where it didn't meet and then I've just been sanding and filling that so still a lot of work to do but the Beverly now looks like an airplane um, I hope my dad appreciates this and in 1 in 70 second it's absolutely massive and um, this is a big plane now in my what if world the Malagasy used this but this is my dad's so it's going to have to be in a boring RAF scheme but um, I quite like it take care bye